You saw the disturbing attack Friday on this newscast. The district, which had not seen that video that we received, provided only a statement saying it was aware of the incident and was investigating. Tonight, the superintendent is weighing in after a couple dozen students walked out of class today concerned about safety. And Busy 5's Anthony Carter has more in our top story tonight at 6. Anthony? Grace, Anna, the, the Three Rivers School District told me today that it met with students after the walkout to discuss new plans moving forward. Now, it also said that the attack is concerning and they want to start implementing new changes. And again, we do want to warn our viewers that the video may be disturbing to watch. Just days after this violent attack was caught on camera at Hidden Valley High School in Grants Pass, the Three River School District is now speaking out about the incident. The events from last Thursday that took place at Hidden Valley High School were very concerning to me, the central office at Three River School District, and obviously the school uh, administration and staff. The video from last Thursday shows multiple female students attacking another female student in the girls' locker room. Superintendent Dave Valenzuela says the person wearing red hair is actually an educational assistant at the school trying to break it up. Anytime there's, there's violence or or fights or threats of violence in our schools, we're, we, uh, we take it very seriously. The video sparked a walkout from a couple dozen students Monday and even brought some concerned parents to campus. Students told us that it was in support of the victim and an overall concern for student safety. Administrators then gathered the students inside for a two-hour discussion to allow them to voice their concerns. We plan to engage with parents uh, about one to two times a month uh, going forward to make sure that uh, we can head this stuff off before it happens again in the future. One sophomore at the school who participated in a walkout tells me every student should feel safe at school. And Villanueva did inform us that the student that was attacked in that video is doing fine and was in school today. Villanueva did decline to comment, however, if there was going to be any disciplinary action against for the students that were also involved in that attack. Live in the newsroom, Anthony Carter, NBC Five News.